Hello friends, welcome to Techpedia. In this video, we are going to make WhatsApp and automate. Yes, it is a very simple task and you don't feel so much of difficult by writing this simple line of code to make WhatsApp and automate. So I will try my level best to explain you each line of code what we are going to write here. So without any further delay, let's get started. Friends, so before we go into the content, I have a small request for you. So if you really like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. And if you are really uh, new to our channel, please watch our complete videos. And if you really think that it is very useful, please help us with the subscribe. So let's get started. Now, what we need to do, open PyCharm first. To make WhatsApp and automate, we need a module from Python. So let's see what is that module and how can we use that module by completing this task. Now open your browser, just type py.git. So this is the inbuilt module is available in the Python programming. So we need to just import this module to complete this task. Now click on this link. I will give you this link in the description so that you can use it if you want. So once it is open, here you can see that PyWatKit 5.0 module is available. We just need to copy this PyWatKit module, minimize this window, go to your PyJump option. Now here you can see that terminal. Click on this terminal. It will open something like a command prompt from you. So here just paste this the module that you have copied from the site just press enter so for the first time when you do this process it will take a little bit more time so i have already done previously so it will not take much time it's automatical install so here you can see the successfully installed pywordkit 5.0 so now just clear this so if you want to uninstall this particular pyword i will show you at the end of the video how to do that as well now we have successfully installed module pywordkit now we need to use this module so to do that we just need a keyword import let's see how to do that so just type import import space by okay so we successfully import pywordkit module when you do this process which means that you have successfully completed 50 percent of your task the rest of 50 percent you just make few lines of code let's see now what we need to do our main goal is we need to make whatsapp and automate which means once i run this program or a script it will automatically open my web at whatsapp.com and it will identify the receiver contact list from my contacts of whatsapp and type the message and send that message to the receiver at a particular time this is my goal so to complete this task we need to use a syntax syntax in the sense there is a something function which we need to use this this function is available in the module by WhatKit. let's see how can we use this function to initiate web.whatsapp.com now first what we need to do to initiate the function we need to call that function by using module name. Just type pywordkit. Here you can see it will give you automatically the intelligence process. pywordkit dot. The message is what send. You can see that send what message. This is the function actually. So in this function, we have to provide some few arguments to call this send what message, which is available in the pywordkit module. Now the arguments are three. The first argument is the receiver mobile number along with the country code, which is mandatory. The second argument is the message that you would like to type. So you have to type the message that you want to set. And the third one is the time details. And make sure here the time is 24 hours. So you need to provide by according to that time. So let's see here I'm going to give the receiver name. So, so due to something security reasons, I'm going to hide this particular mobile number. So let's wait for that. All right. Here you can see I have provided the first argument as receiver mobile number. 
so the second argument is the text message that we would like to send let's write that so here the text i mean the text message should be in the form of string now give the double quotes the message something like hey this message has been sent by python script so message also has been script s c r i p t okay so the second argument also we are passed and the third argument is time details this is something very important as you can see uh, the time in my current system is 238 here we need to provide the time functionality in the form of 24 hours let's provide two so i'm going to give next to feature of 3 minutes so that you can see the live scenario how this will be initiated in the background i'm going to give uh, now it is 39 40 41 42 so i'm just giving 42 so at the time of 2:42 the the particular uh, script will be initiated the web.whatsapp.com let's see how this will be done now we have done successfully pass the arguments in the function now i would like to use something try and accept functionality in this script so that i can see if something is good i can see the message in the terminal whether it is successfully done or not if it is goes bad anything in the background i can see the interrupted message as well to do that i'm just using try okay so i'm writing the try method here uh, let's move just a little bit forward a little bit like this now i would like to print something message as well so the message like the message has been sent okay now as we use try we need to use accept to complete the functionality of the script so here also i would like to print something the message is unsuccessful right now you understand right the reason for i am using try and accept if something this script is working fine then i can see this message has been sent if something like this if something uh, bad in the background initiation so i will get this message so now it is 40 in the next 2 minutes okay uh, it's already 40 now i am just adding one more minute 43 so the script has been saved let's run our script now the script has been initiated let's see what will happen see i'm not doing anything here you can see the message in 106 seconds web.whatsapp.com will open and after 20 seconds the message will be delivered so let's see what will happen so if you don't want to waste the time just skip the video at that particular moment so that you can see the live situation now it is 2:41 we have two more minutes to go now the time is 2:42 i think uh, the background initiated already let's see here you can see web.whatsapp web the site is opening automatically i am not doing anything automatically it was initiated by the script let's see what it will happen also it was identified the the contact name as well the message has been sent as you can see hey this message has been sent by python script at exactly the time what we have mentioned 243 hope you understand the video uh, i mean uh, this is not so much of difficult as you can see it's a simple two lines of code and we make it possible to whatsapp automate so if you really think this is very useful and uh, you can if you understand the video please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel i will try my level best to give more videos something like this and until then take care goodbye thank you so much